Um, we entered this Verizon competition um, as a challenge to envision a future without phones. Um, and in doing so, we envisioned a service which we call Autour. We felt that, you know, having to, to take a moment to separate yourself from the moment that you're in, to pull your phone out, to look at a screen, to open an app, to do things like that, sort of takes you away from and separates you from the moment in which you're living. While giving our devices this opportunity to to document our lives, to track where we are, to make the connections between our community and our friends. We also unfortunately really allow our lives to be documented, to be tracked, to be surveilled. We have to deal with surveillance as a real issue in the design community, also in the greater community. But how do we continue developing those tools in such a way that we aren't giving up as much of the control and the autonomy and the security that we have come to prize in our lives. So we designed a tour in a way to kind of challenge that question. In a future when cameras can identify people by facial recognition software, a tour provides a service for subscribers to access surveillance video footage. It puts you in the director's chair of your own life. By using hand gestures, you can direct the cameras to timestamp footage store content as either photos or videos in your personal folder, or post them to social media, all in real time. You can later access your archive simply by logging into a tour on a web-based interface. There, you can train the system to suit your lifestyle rather than the other way around. Set gestures that reflect familiar behavior, manage content to match your social inclinations, and specify tags for easy filtering so that no matter who you are or how you feel at any given time, you can turn any moment into a memory. The idea of creating a service where you can post and share images in real time, but without having the opportunity to edit them, challenge us to look into contemporary trends in social media usage and speculate on its evolution. Um, in order to do that, we interviewed the Pinterest community manager to get more insights about this topic and she confirms actually our ideas. Uh, more and more users are now moving toward the less curated, less edited uses of social media. To prototype this experience, we mounted modules of three cameras onto mobile walls which were wired to Mac Minis. We used color codes to identify users and set gestures. Whenever the camera recognized the unique color code, the computer would save a photo to that user's folder. This service can be installed in any privately owned but publicly accessed place or space, like malls or museum, uh, like event space or gallery or bars. It's almost a dramatization of the future where we imagine that surveillance would be everywhere, not only one camera in every room, but almost in every angle of every room. What we're doing is we're taking surveillance and we're really allowing people to turn the surveillance cameras into their own movie set, and so that they can film their lives from many different possible angles. We don't want the future to have constant surveillance, but we imagine that it's almost a what-if scenario. If, if the worst happened, how could we regain agency?